whatever I do today may have a profound effect. Good morning. Um, yeah, I have had a very exhausting morning. Although I really didn't do much physical activity, I just felt really exhausted. And um, but I could still talk. I could still record videos. I could still read books. So I I want to get it done right now. So I wouldn't. So I could gain that psychological age that I have accomplished something. And this book is just right there, within my reach. So I think this is a good choice to read. And David Goggins can always wake up the beast in me. So okay. Uh, let me just read the last, last part. Let me see if he has any kind of summary. Let me see. Acknowledgements. All right. I don't think. Oh, there's nothing like that. I'll read the acknowledgements. This book was seven years in the making with six failed attempts along the way before being introduced to the first and only writer who truly understood my passion and captured my voice. I want to thank Adam Skarnik for the countless hours spent learning everything about me and my fucked up life to help pull together all the pieces and bring my story to life in print. Words can't express how proud I am the truthful vulnerability and raw candor of this book. Jennifer Kish, I do not have the words. A lot of people say that, but it is the truth. Only you truly know how hard this process was for me to pull off, and without you by my side, there would be no book at all. It is because of you I was able to take time off of writing to go fight fires while you took care of all the business behind the book. Knowing I had to cash in my corner enabled me to make the very bossy decision to self-publish. It's because of your work ethic that I had the confidence to turn down a substantial book advantage. Advance. Knowing that you alone can shoulder what an entire publishing house can do. All I can say is thank you and I love you. My mom, Jackie Garner, we have had a hard, fucked up life. One that we can both be proud of because there are many times we have been knocked flat on our asses with no one around to pick us up. Somehow we found a way to always get the fuck up. I know there were many times when you were concerned for me and wanted me to stop. Thank you for never acting upon your feelings as it allowed me to find more of me. For most people, this is not how you would talk to your mother as a thank you. But only you know how powerful this message truly is. Stay hard. Love you, mom. My brother, Trunis. Our lives and the way we grew up at times made us enemies. But when the sh shit hit the fan, we were there for one another. At the end of the day, that is true brotherhood to me. Much appreciation thanks to the following people who allowed Adam and I to interview them for this book. Your recollection of the events helped me create an accurate and true de depiction of my life and how these particular events unfolded. My cousin, Damien, while you were always the favorite growing up, I had some of my better times in life hanging out with you just doing stupid shit. Johnny Nichols, our friendship while growing up in Brazil was the only positive thing I had at times. Not many people know the darkness that I experienced as a kid like you do. Thanks for being there when I truly needed you most. You see, I'm still falling asleep, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll just keep reading, keep reading, wake up, wake up. That's all right. That's all right. Kirk Freeman, I want to thank you for your honesty. You were one of the few people who were willing to tell the painful truth 
by some of my challenges in Brazil, and for that I will forever be grateful. Scott Gearing, to this day you will never know how much you are sorry and you just being you helped me at a time in my life where darkness all I could see. You have no idea that the impact the impact you had on a fourteen year old kid is a true saying. You never know who is watching you. I happen to be watching you that day at PJOC school. Grateful for your friendship after all these years. All right, man. I'm I'm tired as fuck. But I've read I've read five minutes now, so I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break. I don't even want to go take a shower. I think I could just skip shower right now. I might hit the gym later, so I'm gonna sweat a lot again. So there's no point to shower. All right, it's seven o nine right now. My parents are still running. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick nap before they come back. Yeah, bye.